It's time where we look at the highs and lows and major milestones of electric aviation that were achieved in the previous year, that is 2024. We will look at the biggest beneficiaries and also the biggest casualty, the top contenders and the underdogs. So without further ado, let's begin. The start of the year saw a lot of activity. It was announced that the Voyager X2 eVTOL flying car by Xpeng Aero HT will begin commercial production in 2024. Hyundai unveiled the Supernal SA2 at the CES 2024. The Dutch electric aviation firm Elysian showcased plans for its E9X aircraft, which will carry up to 90 passengers and fly up to 800 kilometers. It is set to fly from the year 2033. In February, France's Beyond Aero flew hydrogen electric demonstrator. Powered by an 85 kilowatt fuel cell battery powertrain, the modified G1 aircraft, SPY XL ultralight, was flown from the Gap Tellard airfield in southern France. On the other side of the world, Autoflight Prosperity completed the first intracity flight between Shenzhen and Zhuhai in China, autonomously flying 50 kilometers or 31 mile route, which took around 20 minutes. In March, Airbus revealed pictures of its City Airbus Next Gen, a four seat electric urban aircraft that the French aerogiant said will fly for the first time later in the year. The two ton class City Airbus has a wingspan of 12 meters and can fly up to 80 kilometers with a mentioned cruise speed of 65 knots. Separately, Japan unveiled their plans to spend $33 billion developing the next generation hydrogen or pure electric aircraft. The Japanese government has revealed a multi-trillion yen plan to develop a made in Japan regional aircraft powered by the next generation technology such as hydrogen. In April 2024, Autoflight delivered the first electric air taxi demonstrator, the Prosperity, to a customer in Japan. The customer is an advanced air mobility operator. The Japanese company is planning unmanned demonstration eVTOL flights at the 2025 Osaka World Expo. This delivery marked the world's inaugural delivery of a civilian ton class eVTOL aircraft. This news came days after Autoflight's carry all cargo eVTOL obtained type certification from the Civil Aviation Administration of China. Also in this month, the Beta Alaya eVTOL aircraft performed a test flight in which it transitioned from hover to forward flight and back. Note that the Beta Alaya has been flying with conventional takeoff for over two years. Having proven their conventional flight capability, they are now focusing on getting airborne and landing vertically. The same month, one of the biggest battery producers in the world, CATL, announced the condensed battery with an energy density of up to 500 watt hour per kilogram, which would enable the electrification of passenger aircraft. In the month of May, Arc Aerosystems in the UK was given approval to develop a new type of electric and sustainable aircraft that does not require a runway. Arc Aerosystems will produce a gyroplane to support rural areas and emergency rescue services. In June of 2024, Archer Midnight completed a transition flight. This is a significant milestone in the development of any VTOL aircraft. It achieved a forward speed of over 100 miles per hour. Weighing 2,950 kilograms, the Midnight is believed to be one of the largest eVTOL aircraft to complete this transition, which is critical for being able to carry commercially viable passenger payloads. In the same month, CATL announced that it had flown a four-ton aircraft using the condensed batteries. China Daily reported that CATL is aiming to have a commercial electric aircraft with a range of 2,000 to 3,000 kilometers ready by the year 2027 or 2028. In July, Joby Aero demonstrated the potential for emissions-free regional journeys with a landmark 523-mile hydrogen electric flight. Their hydrogen electric program builds upon the technology developed by Joby's subsidiary H2 Fly acquired in the year 2021 and forms the part of Joby's future technology roadmap. 
using the same airframe and overall architecture as Joby's core battery electric aircraft, this demonstrator featured a liquid hydrogen fuel tank designed and built by Joby, which stores up to 40 kg of liquid hydrogen alongside a reduced mass of batteries. In August, Dufour Aero of Switzerland flew the production-ready Aero 2 uncrewed EVTOL aircraft. The latest Aero 2 prototype, the X2.3, features a revised edge tail, a skid landing gear, and an exposed tail thruster. Dufour is one of the very few developers that have gone for the tilt wing concept instead of the tilt rotor. In September, Beta Technologies unveiled their first passenger carrying electric aircraft and completed the deployment with US Air Force. The company also secured an order from Metro Aviation for 20 eVTOL aircraft, indicating the growing interest in electric aviation solutions for emergency services. The much-awaited news for electric aviation sector finally came in October 2024. The Federal Aviation Administration, or the FAA, introduced the power lift category, establishing a regulatory framework for EVTOL operations in the U.S. airspace. This move facilitated the integration of EVTOLs alongside traditional planes and helicopters, making a significant step towards commercial urban air mobility. Around the same time, the biggest bad news of the year came in the form of insolvency issues for Lilium. This was a huge setback for the EVTOL industry as a whole because Lilium not only brought battery electric aircraft to the forefront of public consciousness, but were also pushing the development of silicon anode batteries. There is a final twist in the story to be revealed later. November ushered positive news for Britain's vertical aerospace. They secured a funding of £39 million, ensuring their survival. Vertical Aerospace has come back strong after facing setback in the previous year when their test flight saw structural damage on one of their wings. They did a successful test flight this year with the pilot on board. Xpeng, who had showcased their land aircraft carrier in 2024, carried out the public flight of its two-seater quadcopter aircraft at the Zuhai Airshow. They got orders of over 2,000 at the airshow alone. The aircraft carrier itself has a range of 621 miles. Airbus's electric air taxi also made its maiden flight. The City Airbus NextGen showed the eVTOL sector that the world's largest aircraft manufacturer is moving forward with its own electric aircraft. Finally, December saw the Phoenix rising from the ashes to cap a great year for electric aviation sector. Lilium found new investors just in time to keep them afloat. Lilium had continued to carry out testing of its aircraft during self-administration and revealed that it has orders for 108 eVTOL aircraft and options for dozens of others from airlines. Overall, in 2025, Autoflight and CATL created strong ripples on the Chinese front. Joby Aerospace is leading the way in the West, Beta Alaya has been making steady progress. The real dark horse has been XPeng. It has to be said that despite these advancements, the electric aviation sector faces challenges including regulatory hurdles, financial sustainability, and public acceptance. Overall, 2024 marked a pivotal year for electric aviation with significant progress towards making urban air mobility a reality balanced by the challenges inherent in pioneering new transportation technologies. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.